Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and happy Friday. So it's basically the weekend. We are here to do our second on bottle haul for this week. So I did pin a comment in, in Wednesday's video letting you guys know that I wasn't going to do a specific Publix haul because I didn't feel like there was a lot for me to do a whole video just on that. I feel like it would have been super, super short and I didn't want to just sit there and like throw in like a bunch of like me talking. So I decided to go ahead and combine it with today's haul because I did grab a few things from Publix first. Then we are in front of Walmart right now to get the second part of our Ibotta haul. We are working with two bonuses. We have a $10 bonus, which is like a 4th of July bonus. That is $10 for 42 offers. And then we have a weekend warrior bonus. Mine is $5 for 18 offers. So we're going to at least complete that one and get a good chunk out of the $10 4th of July bonus. So if you're not already signed up with Ibotta, make sure you go ahead and do that. It's a wonderful app to use. I've actually seen a lot of just random people in the store using it, and that is absolutely amazing. They are instantly saving on just everyday shopping items. It's free to you to sign up. When you sign up with somebody's code, you do get a welcome bonus. It's usually like 10 or $20 you get for redeeming a certain amount of offers, just like you would get for any other bonus that we get on Ibotta. We're also gonna be working with some Fetch as well and some Swipe Bucks and Checkout 51, just a bunch of different rebates that I like to use. But the main ones that I like encourage you guys to use would be Ibotta and Fetch because those are probably the easiest and then Swipe Bucks after that. Um, what else? The weather has been really crappy. It was like pouring down raining. I went to the library earlier to print some stuff out um, because my laptop is so broken. I just haven't gotten a new one yet. And while I was there, literally it was like the heavens opened up and it was like torrential downpour. So I literally sat in the library until it was light enough that I could run outside to my car. There's like a little bit of break in the weather right now. So I'm gonna try to hurry up, run into Walmart and then go home so that I can record. It's early, It's a lot earlier than I normally um, record and go to the store. So hopefully that gives me enough of buffer time so in case I get home and it starts raining again I have enough time to just kind of like sit in the house wait for it to pass and still have enough time to go outside go over the receipt with you guys and post it in a good amount of time since you guys will not see me this weekend because I usually don't do videos on the weekend unless I'm like you know making up an extra video um, remember on Sunday to print out any unused um, or Saturday print out any unused CRTs for CVS and as I started talking, it started raining. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's getting ready to start raining again. So I'm going to have to hurry up so I can run in the store. Um, but make sure you guys print out any unused CRTs from CVS on Saturday because they will expire for you to use for the following week. So make sure you go ahead and print them out or send them to your cart every Saturday. I actually go into the store and I print out my coupons. Make sure you are checking coupons.com. It's a new month, so sometimes we get some new printable coupons sporadically in the first week of the new month. Um, so make sure you guys go ahead and check that. Also check your rebate ask because we did get a couple of new ones and updated values on some of the rebates, especially on Swag bucks oh my gosh um so i think that's all the updates so i'm gonna go ahead and run into the store um so let's go ahead all right guys so now we're at public so the first one we're gonna pick up is gonna be this toms of maine kids toothpaste so it's priced at three dollars and 99 cents there's a two dollar digital coupon it looks like it's only for colgate but if you read the fine print it does include the toms of maine toothpaste it has to be at least three ounces or larger and this is a 5.1 ounce so we'll use it two dollar digital coupon then we'll submit to a bottle for a dollar making our final out of pocket cost just 99 cents Next, we're going to pick up the Kellogg's Jumbo Snack Cereal. So they're buy one, get one free this week, price at $5.49. If you go to the Kellogg's Family Rewards website, you can print off dollar off one principal coupons. Go ahead and use two of these, and we'll submit to Ibotta for $2 back in each box. Make your fun out-of-pocket cost free and a $0.51 cent money maker. The big jar of Hel Hellman's mayonnaise. They are buy one, get one free this week, price at $5.79 in my store. I'm going to purchase two. I'm going to pick up one of the light mayonnaise and one of the olive oil mayonnaise dressing. I'm going to use two of these $1 off one printable coupons that I printed from my email and I got this in an email from Unilever. Then we're going to submit to Ibotta for a dollar back on each. The reason why I'm picking up a Hellman's light and a Hellman's olive oil is because there are two separate Ibotta rebates, one for the light and one for the olive oil. So it'll count as two separate rebates so our fun out of pocket cost will be $1.75 for two. 
the Lipton tea bags. They are buy one get one free. These smaller boxes for $1.79 are included. So I'm gonna pick up two. I'm gonna use two dollar off one principal coupons that I got from my email from Unilever. So to make these free in a small money maker and I like to use these if I'm going to make sweet tea at home. Purex is buy one get one free this week price at $5.99. So I'm going to go ahead and pick up four of the liquids for $5.99. When you go to the Axe Team Clean website, you can print off dollar off one principal coupons. I'm only going to use two of these because I was only able to print out two. So I'm picking up four. I'm going to use two coupons. On Ibotta, there are two rebates for a dollar attaching to one bottle. So if you pick up two of these, that's $5.99. On one bottle, you're going to get back $2 on Ibotta, and on the other bottle, you're going to get back $2. You'll get back a total of $4, making it $1.99 for two if you don't have any coupons. If you have the dollar off one printable coupons, or I believe there were some of the inserts, but I didn't get the inserts for this weekend or this past weekend, then it would be completely free with the dollar off one coupons. Next, I'm going to pick up the Rowdy Energy Drink. So they're two for $5. There is a digital coupon for a free one. So just make sure you have it clipped. Go ahead and type in your phone number at checkout and it'll be completely free. And these are actually pretty good. I like the strawberry lemonade one and the chiseled ice. Briar's ice cream is buy one get one free this week price at five dollars and 75 cents printable from an email from Briar's. I'm going to use a $2 off one printable coupon. I only was able to print this out once. And then for the other one, I'm going to use a dollar off any one Briar's product. And then on Fetch, I have bonus points, but it's weirded weird. So it says on any cookies and cream, but any variety and cookies and cream is a type of variety. So I don't know if I'm going to get the bonus points back for it, but I'm going to try it anyway and just see what happens. Um, but I have bonus points for 1,300 points, which is about $1.30, making my final out of pocket cost just 34 cents for two containers. The last thing I'm going to pick up here is going to be on the Athenos Feta Cheese. So it's buy one get one free at $30.19. You want to make sure that you pick up this 4 ounce right here. These smaller packages are 3.5. You want to pick up the 4.0 ounce. Then we'll submit to Ibotta for $1.25 back on each one. Making our fun out of pocket cost just $0.69 cents for two. All right, you guys, so now we're in Walmart. So the first I'm going to pick up is going to be on the Poise Pads, the 30 count. So they're $4.52 in my store. I'm going to submit to the coupons.com app for $3 back. Then we'll submit to Ibotta for $2 back, making our final out-of-pocket cost free and a $0.48 cent moneymaker. So the coupons.com app recently updated itself. So now you can actually scan the item before you submit your receipt to see if it attaches to a coupon. So in the top right hand corner, you're going to go ahead and hit the barcode. You're going to scan the product barcode and it'll tell you if there is a matching offer and there is there's the three dollar off one coupon that we will be using just make sure you read the coupons on there like this one is not available at Kroger and other participating stores. Next, we're going to pick up one of the Colgate Renewal Toothpaste, priced at $6.96. So we're going to submit to the coupons.com app for $3 back. And then we'll submit to Ibotta for $5 back, making this free and a 104 moneymaker. This is a repeat deal, but I'm going to go ahead and pick it up. So the Listerine Strong Teeth, we're going to go ahead and pick this up. It's the 500 ml, priced at $5.43. So we're going to use this dollar off one insert coupon that is expiring tomorrow. Then we're going to submit to Ibotta. There are two separate rebates attaching, one for a dollar, one for a dollar fifty. Make your fun out of pocket cost $1.93 for one. Next, I'm going to pick up this All May Brow Pencil. So it is a dark blonde. So it's priced at $6.14 in my store. There are two rebates attaching, both for $3 back. So get back a total of $6, making this just 14 cents. Next, I'm gonna pick up the Garnier Whole Blends, the sulfate free. So I'm gonna pick up the um, leave-in conditioner. It's priced at $6.47 in my store. I'm gonna pick up two of the coconut ones. Then, previously printable from coupons.com, I'm going to use two of these $2 off one printable coupons. It's no longer available to print. You would have had to have printed already, and they do expire today, so today's the last day to use it if you have it. Then I'm going to submit to Swag Bus for $8 back when you purchase two, and this is included in the fine print. The leave-in conditioner just has to be the coconut one. Make your final out-of-pocket cost just $0.94 cents for two. 
I'm going to pick up some more of the Popcorn Indiana. So it's priced at $2.68. We have $1.25 back in Ibotta, making this bag just $1.43. Last time I think I picked up the kettle corn, so this time I'm going to pick up the movie theater butter. Next, I'm going to pick up this Yellowtail Sangria. So it's priced at $4.98. There's a dollar back on Ibotta, plus a $0.10 cent any wine rebate. Make your fun out of pocket cost, $3.88 for one. So I saw this barbecue sauce that's on clearance in my store. I'm going to go ahead and pick it up. It's on clearance for $3.87. There's a $1.25 rebate on Ibotta. Make your fun out of pocket cost, $2.62 for one. All right, you guys, so now I'm gonna go ahead and pick up some more Oreos. Me and my kids finally finished the Oreos that we had. So I'm gonna pick up two of the NBA Dynasty Oreos. They're priced at $3.67. Then I'm gonna pick up one of these Oreo Family Size, priced at $3.34. All right, guys, so these three Oreos are going to total us $10.68. So we're going to submit back to Ibotta. We're going to get back $3.67 for purchasing two of the Dynasty. We'll get back $3.67 for purchasing a Dynasty and a family size. Then we're going to submit our receipt to Swagbucks and get back a dollar when you purchase two. And then if you have your Checkout 51 registered with a different email, you're going to submit back there for a dollar when you purchase two. Making our final out-of-pocket cost $1.34 for three packages of Oreos. Since I'm pretty sure I'm not going to get back the full amount on Fetch, I'm going to go ahead and pick up some more Briars ice creams here at Walmart. So I'm going to pick up the one that specifically says cookies and cream on the front for $3.88. I have another $1 off one printable coupon, again from an email from Unilever. Then I'm going to submit to Ibotta for $1.50 back and then submit to Fetch for $1.30, making my final out of pocket cost just $0.08 cents for one. Next, I'm going to pick up the Butterball Talk Turkey Sausage, priced at $2.98. There are two rebates attaching on Ibotta, one for $0.75 and one for $0.55, making our fun out of pocket cost $1.68 for one. I'm going to go ahead and pick up some more of the budding lunch meat. So the $0.58, cents, I'm going to purchase five. When you go to their website, you can print off a dollar off four printable coupon or coupons.com, I believe, still has dollar off five printable coupons. Then we'll submit our receipt to Ibotta for a dollar back when you purchase five, making our final out-of-pocket cost $0.90 cents for five packages. All right, you guys, so I had to move out of the aisle because there's a lot of people here today and I was getting really overwhelmed. But I'm also going to pick up two of these Dash seasonings. So they're priced at $2.94. We're going to submit to Swagbucks when you purchase two. You'll get back $4 and then we're going to submit to Checkout 51 for a dollar back on each one, making our fun out of pocket costs completely free. All right, you guys, so we are back from Walmart and Publix and this is everything that we picked up. So we are going to have three receipts to go over one from Publix and two from Walmart. I split up my Walmart transaction so that I could do my swag bucks items on a shorter receipt. And I'd also found a clearance sign that I wanted to pick up and some clearance hamburger bread that I picked up. So that's also going to be on that receipt. I'm using that stuff. So I'm not going to include that in the I bought a haul. I just went ahead and grabbed it. And since I was already doing a transaction, I just went ahead and threw it in there. So let's go ahead and go over our receipts. So here's our first receipt. This is for Publix. So we have our Briars ice cream. We have our Kellogg's jumbo snacks, the Athenos, the Lipton tea, the Hellman's mayonnaise. So we have the Tom's toothpaste. So that rang up as $4.99. And I showed you guys in the store, it was tagged at $3.99. I picked up the Rowdy for $2.50. Then I picked up four of the Purex laundry detergent. And as you can see, I let him know, hey, that was supposed to ring up as $3.99. So he voided it off. He It was a new guy. So he rang it back up as $3.99. And then I reminded him of the public's promise where if something rings up the incorrect price that it's tagged at or not at the sale price and they're supposed to give you it for free. And then like if it's like a buy one get one free, you're supposed to get every other one after that at the correct price. So then he scanned it back again and put it in there as zero. There are all of my printable coupons that I handed him. Everything came off with no problems. Then the digital for the Rowdy came off, making that completely free. The digital for the Toms of Maine deodorant still came off, so that actually made it a $2 moneymaker because it rang up incorrectly, so I didn't pay for it, and the $2 digital still came off. And there's nothing that I can do about that. Once you have it clipped to your account, it's just clipped to your account. 
Um, and then that $10 that you see there, that is a $10 gift card from Stocking Spree. I redeemed some points so that I could use a $10 gift card to lower my out of pocket. So that is not a coupon, that is a gift card. So when I give you my final totals, I'm going to include that in my subtotal. So my subtotal is actually $20.95, not $10.95. Here's our next receipt. So this is for Walmart. So there's our buyer's ice cream with the dollar coupons. I had picked up some blue bunny ice cream, but then I ended up um, voiding it off. You can see that down at the bottom because I had printable coupons, but I didn't realize that they expire on the 30th of June. So I went ahead and took those off. That's why you didn't see it in the video. Then there are the lunch meat, the popcorn, the... What is that? Oh, the butterball turkey sausage, the almay um there's our listerine our wine our poised pads and the colgate toothpaste so our subtotal here was 51 dollars and 19 cents and then here is our last receipt so on this one i did the dash seasoning i did the garnier hair care and then i did the oreos and then you can see at the top that i had picked up a um oh my gosh I'd picked up a decoration and then I picked up some rolls so it was just like a decoration to go on our front door and then some rolls that were on clearance for $1.41. They were some really large hamburger rolls so that's not going to be included in my subtotal when I give you the final out of pocket. I just threw that on this transaction. So my subtotal here is $31.91 but it's actually going to be like $25 and change because I'm not going to include the decoration and then that bag of rolls that I picked up. All right, you guys, so let's go ahead and go over final numbers. So everything here before coupons, and that is including the $10 gift card that I used because obviously that's going to be included in my subtotal. That's cash that I paid between both stores was $123.14. That's before any coupons. After coupons, we paid $97.64. I really didn't use that many coupons. We submit it to the coupons.com app and we're getting back $6, $3 for the poise, $3 for the Colgate. We submitted our receipt to Checkout 51 for $3 back. We submitted our receipt to Swagbucks and already got back the $13. We submitted our receipt to Fetch and it shakes out to about $3 that I got back for Publix and Walmart. I submitted my receipt to Ibotta and we got back $54.74 in regular rebates between both stores. I finished out the $5 weekend warrior bonus. And I also had a $3 booze bonus that I didn't realize that I had. So that makes our final out of pocket cost $9.90 for everything here. And that's basically $10 for over $120 worth of product which I think is pretty awesome. So if you guys have any questions about anything that I did, any rebates or any coupons, go ahead and drop it down in the comments below. I hope you guys have an awesome 4th of July. Make sure you guys like this video, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.